we are talking about the movie First Summoning, which is also known as The Millbrook Summoning. This one is directed by Raymond Wood. The only recognisable actor I had in this one was Hayley Lovett, who plays the character of Sage in the uh, X-Men themed TV show called The Gifted. So this is a found footage movie, essentially about Satan worshippers or devil worshippers. So what we have, we have a team of four amateur kind of filmmakers who want to go into this particular kind of rural American town and kind of do interviews with local people about this famed kind of abandoned warehouse slash office complex buildings where there have been rumours of satanic goings on. So, uh, you know, obviously, there's a variety of kind of like false starts and kind of like uh, faux interviews with people, a little bit of investigating here and there. And around the hour mark, we kind of obviously get into the actual um, facility itself and obviously there may be more going on there than these guys initially are prepared for. So that's your basic kind of plot summary here. What do we think of First summary, Summoning, a.k.a. Uh, the Millbrook Summoning? So, first thing is, I thought the, the four actors here did an admirable job. Uh, I think they all gave pretty good performances. Really, there's no kind of like bad acting among our kind of our four kind of central characters. So, that's always pretty good, obviously, when you get a kind of a, uh, uh, a movie kind of along the lines of this, which has a relatively kind of small cast. And the actual premise with these kind of, um, this, these sort of Satan worshippers and stuff is, it's an interesting one because you kind of have a you know, you have humans, you have a terrestrial threat, but there is that kind of the element of the unknown as well. And obviously we, when we have scenes, and we do see scenes of these kind of like these robed figures and stuff, you never really know what's going to go on. Is there going to be some kind of like supernatural element that's going to kind of pop out at you? Or, or, or are these guys really just kind of humans who can kind of therefore uh, potentially, you know, have be, kind of like be overcome in kind of some way? And there is an attempt here to try and out, kind of outsmart these guys, which kind of I appreciated. What well, doesn't work for me? Well, in the, when it all comes down to it, this is just a very generic uh, horror found footage film. It's very predictable. There's kind of no real kind of like uh, massive twists or anything like that. You can kind of like guess what's going to happen a lot, a lot of this way through. Although I liked the acting from the uh, our four kind of central characters. Some of the peripheral characters are less believable. Our other kind of um, guy who gets the next screen time is this kind of like this local priest at the kind of like the uh, uh, the first kind of um, part of the movie, and this is somewhat overacted. It, you all, there's almost a scene here where you can see him trying to hold in some laughter where he's being interviewed, and he's kind of meant to be all very kind of stoic and kind of mysterious. But it looks like he's actually trying to hold in some laughter. I've got to say, um, the acting there wasn't brilliant. I mean, to be fair, there's not much more, there's not much more in the way of cast here, so uh, that's kind of really it. But this movie actually had a few plot holes for me. Now, in found footage movie, you have the conceit here where why would they be filming this? And there's some films I think you can get away with it, and there's some films where it just seems silly. And this is one of the latter films because. Um, you know, I might say what happens, but there's kind of a, um, a, 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 towards the end of the movie, we get areas where these guys are trying to outsmart these kind of, um, these, uh, these kind of devil worshippers, and you're not going to do that holding this kind of, like, massive camera with a light on. It just seems like, obviously, to, to film the movie, obviously, that you need to sort of see what's going on, so that's why they kind of are holding it, but at the same time, it just is silly. And uh, there's another instance, for example, even kind of, and I'll tell you about this one, it's kind of fairly early on in the movie, before anything weird starts happening, is the, uh, you know, there's just reasons to have, like, people in kind of, like, spooky situations. So they actually break into this particular church. Before they know anything is weird is going on, just to try and look for some records. But they take the video camera in there and do it, do it themselves, you know, videoing themselves doing it. Why would you do that? Why would you potentially implicate you in, uh, in a crime? Uh, you know, when they kind of, I'll oh, do it when no one's looking and there's no one going to be around and kind of, uh, you know, we can kind of get away with it. You're videoing yourself doing it and you intend to kind of like show this footage as part of the film. Why would you do that? So it's just a little bit silly um, at times where we have these kind of excuses for kind of holding the camera. Um, 
when it really doesn't need to. And like, it, again, it focuses on more cliches. There's lots of kind of manufactured drama, uh, like a kind of like a love triangle within the group. And to me, it just kind of seems like a way to pad out the running time because we really don't get any type of um, uh, scary stuff happening until the hour mark. So this, so this kind of the first hour or so of the movie has got a severe amount of padding in it, and a lot of this comes from this kind of manufactured drama between the kind of the uh, these guys in this group. And the typical thing, you know, there's a lot of kind of uh, the camera distorting just when things are kind of like you're about to see something, the camera's going to distort. So it's a little bit kind of like frustrating in a way because it just falls into the very, very same tried and tested kind of uh, cliches that you'll get from found footage films. If you are a big found footage film, then this is a passable movie. Uh, I mean, like I said, they, they have the whole sort of satanic worship things and how, you know, who's involved and stuff is quite intriguing and it's kind of in, in its own right. And this kind of, uh, it does um, lend itself to uh, suggesting that this, the kind of like the uh, people involved maybe go further afield than uh, one initially anticipates, but I don't know if it's enough to kind of really kind of recommend this film outside of just a very very bog standard kind of uh, found footage film, which is which is okay. It's kind of watchable, but it's it's really forgettable to be quite honest with you afterwards. So if you're a found footage fan, you'll enjoy it, I think, but you'll never watch it again. Uh, I'll give this one a 5 out of 10 fourths for that reason. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.